Hi, I'm Isabella Freeman with Maroon TV, talking to Magda Glotzer at uh, Photos Art After Dark. Hi Magda, can you tell us a little bit about your art? So I've been doing portraits of people um, as a way of uh, dual art therapy. So I get the therapy of doing art and then other people get the therapy of being painted, um, which I think is a pretty special experience. Are you influenced by anyone in particular? I guess I would say um, my friend Maddie Anderson um, was the one who gave me the idea to paint other people. She said that she found it very calming to be uh, sketched or painted or be a muse. Um, and so I, I kind of went with that. Um, and other than that, just the person that I started doing art therapy with. Can you tell us a little bit about FODA? It stands for Festival of the Arts. Uh, we perform we have artists come in and put their visual stuff up. Um, we're basically an event group. Uh, obviously, Spring Fest is one of our big events. We sell posters. We just want to get student artwork out there on campus, so that's mainly what we do. We wanted as many, like as much variety as possible. So people are doing interactive pieces, photos, like live performances. So like, we literally don't discriminate. We just want as much as we can. To, like, do you have a favorite artist here today? I really like the Horticultural Society. I love their idea of like putting organic stuff as art. Um, but every work is amazing. As part of the Horticultural Society, we wanted to sort of like bring all the beauty of springtime to FOTA and to the university. Um, so the Horticultural Society is all about like exploring and like understanding and celebrating botany. Um, through a lot of different avenues, so we thought that art would be a great one um, for this time of the year. The reason that we come up with um, flower pressing is that we think it's like a really like a interactive art um, artwork to just like engage more students into like appreciating um, plants and flowers. So yeah, and that's the so Renee come up with like uh, the uh, flower tattoos and the bookmark, and I come up with like the pendants and the necklace, um, the keychains, and um, yeah, it turns out to be super popular. Are you guys planning to have more events on campus? Or? Uh, yeah, not uh, hopefully some more on the art side, but we're planning to have a volunteer trip to Lincoln Park Conservatory by the end of the quarter. Uh, so that will just be like getting students out like to a conservatory to hear a little more about like their composting techniques and like their different gardening um, opportunities there. So that should be fun. This is Isabella Freeman signing off for Maroon TV News.